welcome to another video today we will be doing minimalistic type banner something like this so this is going to be our main goal today uh, this is a really really good banner and let's get right into it so first of all uh, I will give you the layer for this uh, the template for this down below and of course I will give you the resource files everything down below in the Dropbox file so be sure to check that out also and i'll be using 10k pack by delvich uh he's uh personally one of my favorite small youtubers so check him out on the end of this video and yeah so guys first of all we have this here so this is the font the font i've been using in this is called long haul now this tutorial is going to be a little bit longer just because uh this everything it needs to be created in this tutorial is a little bit longer so again be sure to uh, you know keep in mind that so first of all we're going to uh, as you can see this is like everything here first of all I'm going to just break down the background background is uh, basically uh, first of all we have this light and we're going to have a light so go, going to this template uh, go to rectangle and just make a rectangle like that and make it fill uh, this second black from the right this is what I call like it's a kind of grayish but anyways we have this gray and now go to take a pack and go into layer styles now going to actually essentials light and uh, actually keep uh, just click I click this I just to uh, disappear and click this essentials and now click on light and just drag it into our uh, layout for YouTube banner now control T and just center it like that and now make it a little bit up like that now we have this kind of a you know light here a light effect and uh, as you can see we have this here also now we can also um, this is a little bit zoomed in so like that we can also uh, make this here uh, like a kind of background now what I did here is I went to you uh, I went to actually yeah this is the font we're using and I went to actually unsplash I'll download these two images so I'm downloading these two images and right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag first image here I'm going to flip it horizontally with control T and then right click flip horizontally I'm going to really make a smaller make actually something like like this a little bit bigger so this isn't really uh, like I don't really want to center it and you know just keep it like that and now what we're going to do is actually make this here so this is another image kind of like a editing station and again I will a little bit make it like that now we have control T again like that now we have these two images now what we're going to do is click on this this image right here and going to the brush tool uh, actually not brush tool this is like eraser tool and going here and make it 200 300 click on this click ok and now just you know delete it a little bit and now we're going to control T and again make it a little bigger like that and yeah basically now what we're going to do is click on this first image and click and hold shift click on left click on the last image control G and control E now we have one group which is like rasterized loop group now control a to select all and go to image adjustments and black and white now this will make a black and white image now what we're going to do is actually we can play around you know but <clears throat> again we have here 25 overlay which we're going to do here 25 overlay and we have it like that so this is now the first things first so again now we're going to the stitched stitch is kind of like a, this gray effect behind it as you can see a grain kind of like a grain effect if I may say so and this is again from 10k pack from Delvich uh, common textures and we can actually yeah no actually this is the one yeah this is the one we're dragging that on to this and control T and a little bit you know bigger like that now this is going to uh, actually oh I, I've made this in a wrong uh, wrong file so we're going to again 
drag this here and make it into this file. I dragged it into original file so that's why I cancel it. Now as you can see we have this here and this is again color dodge 100 which we will do here is going to be color dodge 100 and this looks kind of like that so it looks kind of good and uh, be sure to make this stitch under the light so it's go like that and now we have this here now we break this down we have this here now we're going with the hexes hexes are really amazing uh, pattern now we're going again into the delvage and we're going to tech and hexes as you can see right here uh, this is an amazing pack by Delvich, a really, really, ama a really, really amazing pack. Now we're going to drag this into our file right here. And we're going to a little bit, you know, make it a little bit smaller like that. And again, duplicate that and make it, you know, you can play around with this uh, like that. And again, we're going to duplicate another one because here, as you can see, it's a little bit empty. Hold shift and just drag this with left click like that. And now you can actually help yourself with arrow keys so it looks the same as everyone else. Now, click on the first hex with the left click, hold shift, click on the last one, control G, and this is hexes. So you just double click and rename it to hexes. And this here will be, uh, again, hold shift, hold left click, just don't hold it, just click on the last image and control G and this will be BG as background or you can call it background, background like that and I will make a, a like a lock on the layers. Now we have this light, we have this background, actually we can make light into the background like that or no, 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 the, the light will be on the top of it, yeah, so any, anyways, uh, going to the next, so as you can see, I've yeah, so we have hexes, we have stitched, we have stitched, we have this kind of background, we have rectangle, and now are we going with the text. Now text is a little bit tricky. I mean, it's not really tricky, but you can again uh, finesse it however you want it. So this font here is long haul. We we are going to use long haul, which is linked down below, and we're going to use uh, Nexa Bold and Nexa Light. So yeah, be sure to download these fonts because without them you can't really work. And so first of all, we're going uh, with the symmetrics and now we're going to uh, maximize it. If you have font like this, just hold Alt and uh, left arrow key and just tap it like this and it will come together like that. So now go to here and type in long haul uh, and now Actually, my headphones are not plugged in, so sorry for that. Uh, now we're going with the symmetrics like that. Caps, all caps. We're going to uh, make it a little bit bigger. Center it like that till it snaps. And now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to copy this text, control C. I'm going to delete it and I'm going to make a new layer with these tricks. Uh, because this tricks part is um, align it like that. And now going to blending options and going to gradient overlay. And now I have my gradient overlay right here. But uh, this is from 017BD9 to 01BAD9. Uh, this is actually hex codes for uh, gradient. So click OK. And now these hexes, as you can see, these hexes are going like around uh, on my text. So we're going to cancel that by uh, holding left click and just dragging it down like that. Now the text is on the top. Now what we're going to do is actually make this kind of uh, like uh, tags right here and I'm going to do that by clicking on Nexa Bold and now making it like this. Creative Tutorials Review, let's say Product Reviews and then tips and tricks like that. Uh, actually, this is I think Montserrat semi bold. Yeah, this is Montserrat semi bold. So this is another text you you will need. Uh, what I like about this is you can also do it like Montserrat italic, which is quite good. And you can resize it like that, and again make it a little bit bigger, 
like that so you have now this here you can make it a little bit smaller like that yeah like that this is now good now what you want to do is actually not going to google chrome going here is going to be new videos coming every week now this is going to be same as this text up here uh we're going to make it new all caps new videos coming next next week and this is just um new videos coming every week every week sorry every week this is just a cap so long haul again a little bit you know up like that make it center make it center like that oh so yeah and now you will do the same thing like you did for symmetrics another layer like that and make it like that now go to right click blending options gradient overlay on this text right here now this looks pretty amazing i'm not gonna lie and now what you want to do is again uh we need to have this welcome to the official channel off which is nexa bold regular uh welcome to the official channel off is going to be nexa bold regular and now what you want to do is uh control a and hold alt and just uh go with the right arrow key and make it however wide as you want want to be you know and now click ok control t resize it like that resize it a little bit more and now you can actually position it like that and with arrow keys like that now this is all text for uh, this middle part which is really amazing so now what you want to do is uh, go on left click on the last layer and hold shift and left click on the first layer and control G and type in this is middle text middle text and now you can just center it like that you can center it like that uh, you can also control H on this layer because on this template because I've made it so you can center it like that so now this is the center now this looks quite amazing I'm not gonna lie and now what we need to do is Twitter Instagram Facebook and this join join the crew and click on that subscribe so first we're going to make this join the crew and click on that subscribe so first of all join oh we need again if you have this problem with the text uh, this is actually what we did on this text so uh, going on uh, control a on this text hold alt and just go with the left arrow key to just make it again joined like that uh, and again join the crew by join the crew by and this is going to be nexa light regular join the crew by clicking on that and then we will make it a subscribe button like that so and we're going to actually we're going to group this with uh, control G and now we have this join and we're going to a little bit resize it like that now this is going to be subscribe left side I'm, I'm, a, I'm a call it left side because this is on the left side social media icons will be on the right side so now we have this left side right here now what we need to do is actually create a rounded rectangle like that and now we're going to disable stroke and enable this white background now we're going to right click on that uh, rectangle blending options gradient overlay again same gradient i'm using same gradient in every so it's easier and make it like that now we're going to type in uh actually like that subscribe with nexa bold yeah nexa bold i'm going to type in like that so this is going to be something like that now what we need to do is go to this here image we're going to save it uh, i already have saved it right here so we're going to just drag it and now uh with alt you can actually zoom in if you didn't know so uh we have control t this and we're going to just make it a little bit smaller much smaller like that and we're going to zoom in with alt and scroll wheel and now we have this here a little bit bigger 
and now going to this here just go right click on YouTube logo rasterize layer and click delete and this will delete that middle uh, part now click on this uh, layer control C control V and delete down this layer uh, that you've made the previous so now you have this here layer we're going to blending options and gradient overlay and actually we're going to get color color overlay which is going to be white just because we can't make an overlay uh, with this blue so now we have this subscribe but subscribe it looks a little bit like again you can go alt and left click left uh, arrow sorry and make it like that and make it a little bit smaller like that again like that and now we're going to go to rounded rectangle Control t and resize it a little bit like that so that looks that looks quite good now we have this here uh like subscribe button we're going to group this this will be subscribe and we're going to center that like that and we're going to group left side and subscribe into another left side so this looks kind of like that so now we have this here which is like a subscribe to us now we need only one more thing we need this kind of uh, Facebook Twitter Instagram so what we're going to do is make a again as you can see twitter.com slash and your name instagram.com slash and your name so we're going to make it twitter.com slash again if this shows up again as I said alt hold alt and just go with left arrow key like that and this will actually be next light if I'm not mistaken yes this is next light uh, I'm using three fonts in this so be sure to download them down below to you know have everything working and now we're going to make it symmetrics official you, you of course you can type your name I mean I'm doing this for like a my channel so now we have this here and now right click blending options gradient overlay and we made this like that so now we're going to group that and make it Twitter and now we're going to make an, like two copies two more copies of this like that and, and again another copy like that and now we're going to rename this to facebook.com slash <coughs> sorry guys and instagram.com slash and now we're going to use this symmetric text a little bit resize that text like that and we're going to use um, Instagram text which is this text and again resize it like that now we have this here now we have Twitter we have like three Twitter copies so now this will be Facebook this here will be uh, Instagram and this here will be Twitter now I will group this and make this social media and now we have this group like right here so like that now what we need is an icons so icons we can go there we I already have my icons right here again everything is down below in the description so you can download that as well uh, and we have icons right here and we're going to make it like that this is for the Twitter and this goes actually in Twitter right here and we're going to blending options that color gradient overlay like that and now what you want to do is copy layer style that way we will paste the layer style on every layer on every icon so we don't have to go blending options and again to gradient uh, you can do that on the beginning as well I mean if you're like this is kind of ending of tutorial so yeah <laughs> and again we're going to Facebook we're going to have this here and because Facebook has this like a circle I will go and click on this Control C Control V and delete this layer around it so now we have this Facebook I'm going to get that into Facebook and I'm going to right click and paste layer style as you can see we have now paste layer style like that we're going to you know make it smaller like that and now we need Instagram Instagram is here right here I'm going to drop that in and now we have this 
right here again right click paste layer style and we have this right here again with Facebook you can uh, this is actually for Instagram so again Instagram icon into Instagram and now for Facebook you can actually uh, make it like that so it's in the middle everything is in the middle uh, really smooth and yeah guys so this has been it I mean you can you know downsize it like that and control H and now you can again make it like that so this is it guys